Hello all, Vishes from Essence College of Technology. I am Anand Kumar, currently working as an assistant professor in the Department of Information Technology. And joining with me today is Mr. Vignesh Kumar, Essence College of Technology. And uh, he is currently working in the for the Department of Information Technology. And here is Mr. Mohan sir. Uh, he, uh, he is working as an assistant professor in the Department of Information Technology. And today, uh, we are going to just explain about the five pillar and the seven vertical approach. So, what are those five pillars? Mohan sir, can you explain about the five pillars? Yes sir, uh, we have a five pillar based activity uh, following in our SNS. Uh, CLT, C, uh, we all know Center for Learning and Teaching and CFC, uh, IAPC and SRI and SCD. These are the five pillars uh, generally we are following for the uh, SNS to follow the improve the students uh, community. Uh, now the uh, okay, sir, will okay, tell about sir. the uh, wh wh why is, what is will be need for a uh, five pillar Actually, what is you have culture for SNS? The culture, our culture consisting of process, yes, sir. A purpose, process, and people. people yes. Yeah. Next, the that is three P. Three P. We are going to say that is a purpose. What for? What we are going to do for? From for what this process? Be, for for what this thing is going to do? It's called pro purpose. And then how you are going to do? It's called process. For whom we are going to? It's called people. Normally, a student comes into the college. What does a student think? Uh, actually, we are planning to the student's outcome. We have to redesign the common mind and uh, business towards excellence. That is our uh, main aspect of our the students we are uh, trying to project. Oh, okay, sir. Okay, Anand, sir. What does the parent think? So, if he is having, he or she is having some relevant uh, technological or like uh, recreational activity where she or he will be suited, that will be the parent's thought. Okay. Well, normally, the parents will think that at least at least a student will be entrepreneur. That is building sir, an entrepreneur. Yes, weakness, sir, that we have building an entrepreneur mindset through our uh, DT framework from the first year onwards. From the every with the DT with help of DT bootcamp, we have the DT framework uh, strategies to follow the uh, build the entrepreneur mindset to become an entrepreneur at the end of the final year yes, or, uh, so, or after graduating. Weakness, sir, uh, can you tell me with an example of a car? Okay. So, what are those five pillars? And what are those extended pillar activity and what are those seven okay. vertical how much See, but before going into that i'll explain the clt cfc scd iapc and sri clt means center for learning and teaching scd means skill and career development and cfc means center for creativity yes and and sorry IAPC for means scd we are having the skill and career yes. development we have the career track growth we having following in the scd yes if uh, students are interested for government exam or, uh, or competitive exam he, he can choose from the first year onwards he yes has, we can train from the from first year yes. the, the students will achieve the whatever the track career path we want to go he, he will easily move towards the career growth yes sir being a uh, placement coordinator. I want to ask you this question. Yes, sir. So IAPC means Industry Institute Partnership Cell. So can you brief about that IAPC, sir? Uh, it's uh, co connected with the uh, industry to and also with the college to have the students intern. The suppose the students are fine. The final year students, most of the students, trying for intern with the uh, uh, industry. Whatever the, the choosing, or uh, we are college providing the intern for the students. So the students can. Uh, do the intern and also doing the project works in the final year and he will help for the after graduating uh, joining the industry he will uh, get a fully trained uh, for joining the company yes sir of course okay. sir. Yes, sir can you tell me with an example of a car okay sir when, when, we, when we take in a car now yes. other than an example of a car i will say it's on that's that's a, that's a uh, family that's a family which have three girls students and that's a five boys students yes. no, five boys what the what this family is that for a girl student we need to we need to find a uh, what to say a bridegroom a bride for it what they do for the, for what in a girl girl should need when when re, when they need to uh, re, pre, uh, represent what they need that is when when a student comes into college we have a three things that is nothing but spine yes. high up and yes. uterine yes what does spine do what and all is what and is fit to is but he, the spine can have fitness fitness sports arts and culture activity uh, entertainment gaming startup and co-working space will be there to that the student uh, for example the first girl has been interested in doing this and all who will be segregated a student into the spine activity yes of course yes. next okay uh, another student will be technical mind what it will be have a high up where high up consisting of a health care all is there will be a seven pillar activity seven seven pillar seven 
Yes, like aerospace defense. Aerospace defense, AR, smart AR, city will be here. Yes, yes, yes. Up to current. Like, like we are driving the car, we have more innovation now coming in the car. Yes. Like electric vehicles, we have a. Uh, without a driving uh, driver we can uh, automatic car is available so for uh, in more number of innovation technologies we implemented in our college for the students community to solving the industrial problem using the uh, innovation technologies and can you brief the what are the industry yes. innovation technologies available yes sir of course but before that i'll just brief about the youth wing concept youth wing is just the thruster it's not just a thruster but it thrusts the Vision, mission, and the statement of the entire SNS College of, uh, yes, sorry, SNS institutions. Considering youth wing, we have three aspects. One is talent identification. Next one is talent grooming, and of course the talent showcasing. So these are the three aspects of the SNS youth wing. This acts like a accelerator thing, and uh, we have a thruster. That's what we call as youth wing. And in SNS spine and I have we have these seven pillar activity. That is seven thrust area activity. And the yes. spine is recreational activities. Okay, well, uh, when we when it, when a student comes from the college, yes. based upon a student interest, yes. that is when when he is interested in sports or culture, at least he'll be he'll be focused. Yes, on I the have a doubt spine. with your weakness, sir. Uh, how will you find the student's interest? What type of strategy we are following? Can you tell me how will you identify the? See, student's no, normally, talent? normally before uh, joining the student, student will be go for a spinex program. But yeah. spinex program, he'll be he'll identifying the identify what okay. he is interested. Uh, for example, if the student has been interested in fitness, sports, or entertainment, gaming, you'll go for spine activities and all. Yes, sir. Exactly. If yes. if the student is interested in technology base, yes, he'll be go for high up. Or yes. if, okay. if you need to have a startup, only you go for high up. In case if student does not have any talent, also yes. we'll be we using youth youth wing. Yes, youth wing. Exactly. From youth wing, we'll have a ta- we'll be identifying a talent, we'll be grooming the talent, and we'll be showcasing the talent. Such as students will be coming again to spine or high up. Yes. So we were talking about the term called DT. That is meant by design thinking. What do you mean with the term design thinking? Means means we have a five stage approach. One is empathizing, definition, ideate, prototype, testing, and next one is yeah, well. evolving. So based on this thing, we are redesigning the common mind and we have a business towards excellence. And this is our vision. So anyone want to continue? Yes, sir. Normally, normally, what does that when when you have a problem? When we have when when we have a problem, we should think in a DT frame. That is, we are going to the uh, sh- uh, the same customer needs, and we should think. That's the DT frame. It's a main focus on it. Moreover, this DT frame is based upon building an entrepreneur mindset to a design thinking framework. Uh, Moreover, we uh, as we already know, our SN institution is the first Indian institution to implement and patent the design thinking. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. File a patent. Yes. yes, sir. We are uh, like uh, driving the car. Uh, we have to. We have in the five pillar uh, activities and a uh, high up spine youth wing. Uh, as already answer told uh, about youth wing and the uh, high up uh, mentioned by Vignesh sir. So we are uh, finally uh, building a entrepreneur mindset for uh, for the students community to make uh, to become a uh, good entrepreneur and serve the society and lead the society. So with the help of this, uh, uh, we can follow the uh, our culture. That is a purpose, process, and people. uh we are yes, finally this exactly matches with our mission yes. and mission statement and uh, of course thank you for listening thank you